Virtualization Station lets you easily run virtualized operating systems such as Windows, Linux, or Unix on a QNAP NAS using QTS to manage them all from one simple interface. In this video, we will tell you how Virtualization Station can benefit your business, how to initialize Virtualization Station on your QNAP NAS, as well as go over some of its features. Virtualization Station can be beneficial in many aspects. For example, businesses who require different versions of Windows to run certain programs, lightweight cloud computing, or even just for test purposes. First, start by installing an OVA, QVM, OVF, or ISO file. On this tutorial page, which is also linked below, is a download link for a Windows OVF file provided by Microsoft. Follow the on-screen instructions and download the file. Once you have your image, you're ready to begin. Next, log into QTS and in the QNAP App Center, install Virtualization Station. Now, open Virtualization Station. There are two ways to begin running a VM. First, you can click on Create VM in the top right hand corner, give the VM a name, choose your OS type, allocate your CPU and memory, designate your ISO file, and where you want it stored. The second way to begin running a VM is by importing. Select Import at the top of the page. Importing supports OVA, QVM, and OVF files. Here we will import Microsoft Windows OVF file provided earlier. Select the OVF files and click Next. Now you can give your VM a name, allocate CPU and memory, and choose where the VM is located. Once you have your virtual machines running, you can see them in your overview. The newly revamped Virtualization Station 3 shows you a detailed overview of all your VMs. Here you can launch a console by directly clicking on the console preview of each VM. To access more in-depth settings, select Virtual Machines on the left side panel and select a VM. Below the console preview, you have access to quick shortcuts such as Power Control, Suspend, Console, CD or DVD, USB pass-through, which when selected shows the USB devices connected that can be used by the VM, snapshot, clone your VM, export, share, which gives you a link to share access to the VM, and trash. Above the VM preview, you have access to settings where you can change the VM name and the CPU and memory allocated. Next to it is snapshot one of the most useful features provided by QNAP NAS. With Snapshot, you are able to take a snapshot of a virtual machine, which is then saved, and even roll back your VM to a previous snapshot, ensuring continuous operation of your VM even in the event of a failure. Last is Logs, which shows your specific VM's user access history. For an overview of all VM access history, select Log on the left side panel. One of the most useful features of Virtualization Station is access control, allowing you to have total control over what each user has permission to access. First, you would click on Account Management, then click on Create User. Here you can create a username and password. Below, you can choose exactly what each user has permission to access, then click OK. Lastly, if you want to enable users to have remote access, select Preferences on the left side panel and make sure that port 8088 and 8089 for SSL access have been set in your router. To ensure a seamless VM experience, make sure you back up your data. Thankfully, QNAP has built-in tools to help make this easy. Select Backup and Restore VM in the left side panel and select Backup VM on the top right. Give your task a name, select your VM, and even schedule backups. Now, in the event of VM failure, with one click, you can revert your VM to a previous backup by clicking the Restore icon. Virtualization Station from QNAP is an efficient and cost-effective way to run virtualized desktops while still having the convenience of a centralized storage solution that QNAP NAS offers as well. Be sure to check out the rest of our video series to better utilize your QNAP NAS. Thanks for watching.